the author of President Trump's best-selling book, The Art of the Deal, well, says that Trump will resign by the end of the year. Hmm. Katrina Pearson, <laughs> member of Donald Trump's 2020 advisory board, is here now. Uh, and by the way, side note, the author of the book isn't a supporter of President Trump, in case you didn't get that. Uh, Katrina, I mean, to me, this is someone who's not a fan of President Trump saying he's going to be out of there by the end of the year. Uh, your response? Well, I think it's definitely safe to say that he is not a fan, um, but I will also say that the, the rumors of the president's demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> you know, I'll remind everyone that since this man announced he was running for office back in June 2015, everyone, and I mean everyone, counted him out from day one. Sad to say, this president bounces back from adversity mm -mm, like you wouldn't even believe. And I got to tell you, even today, this president has been committed to putting Americans first. And I think he's going to be extremely successful. I'm really excited that we have President Trump in the White House. And I think we've got a lot of, of great, great things to look forward to. Well, Katrina, I'll tell you someone we don't have in the White House anymore, Steve Bannon, he's out. There are reports saying that he will work against members of President Trump's cabinet. What do you, what do you say to that? Well, I'd say, you know, it's been an interesting eight months. Uh, the president is building a team. Uh, we also have to remember that draining the swamp is not going to happen overnight, particularly when you have someone who is outside of the political class uh, that, is, that is going to be cutting off that gravy train. And everyone's going to have to decide for themselves where they're going to be most effective. Some people chose to go inside and some people are now on the outside. And I think it's great. If this is something that Steve Bannon can do to help the president be successful, then I'm all for it. But will he be a loyal soldier, do you think? Now that he's a bright bot and so. not inside, you know, the beltway. I think so, because at the end of the day, we're talking about the agenda. And Steve Bannon himself has said that the agenda is what's important, and that's what we want to do. But it's also important to know that the agenda does not come from staff in the White House. The agenda comes from Congress. So it's extremely important that we focus on the Republican leadership in order to send those bills to the president's desk for him to sign. Would you like Mr. Bannon to put some pressure on uh, Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell? Well, I think everyone should. Everyone that voted for President Trump in this election uh, really should be pressuring their members of Congress uh, because they made promises. And this was a, a swift election. There was no mistake what won in November. It was very much a pro-America agenda, putting taxes, economy, and Obamacare at the top of the list. And so these are the things that are important to voters out there in blue states and red. So everyone should be putting pressure on their members of Congress to get the job done. Katrina, finally, uh, we have been kind of bogged down in many other issues and not the pro-growth agenda. Who or what is to blame for that? Well, I think that's by design. I mean, you, mm. you have manufactured outrage uh, among the opposition um, trying to suppress uh, the other side. And it's really getting extremely scary and dangerous when we have uh, political leaders like Nancy Pelosi and others who are actually encouraging this type of suppression. Mm. Um, but I think it's all by design to continue to resist this president. Uh, we do have a situation where President Trump does have some really great policies on the horizon that are actually going to benefit Americans. And he wants to cut off that gravy train to those members that have been in D.C. for a very long time, and they don't want that. I suspect that fight to continue. But at the end of the day, Americans can get that job done by pressuring their members to do what they said they were going to do. Yeah. Amen to that, Katrina Pearson. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Great to be here. All Thank right. You.